Hey Rose, oh yeah, I'm finna pop. Yeah, baby, hit the spot like summer and some dipping dots. Jackpot sound coming at you through a different slot. You can try your luck, but end up missing from a living shot. Ooh yeah, oh baby, it's my season. Straight up out the water, I'm so well on my teaser. and an architectural student of the Film Institute of Technology University. And for this video, we will be talking about my plate number one, namely the rectilinear volume. Before I start, what is a rectilinear volume? So a rectilinear volume is the unity of the three-dimensional figures composed of rectangles, squares, or cubes, wherein it is characterized by three parts, namely the dominant, the subordinate and the subdominant. Where you can see in my place number one, this is the dominant, this is the subordinate, and this is the subdominant. So my plate number one is entirely made up of cardboard as the base of the rectilinear volume and purely illustration boards as the rectilinear volume. So the overall measurement of the height of my rectilinear volume is 20 centimeters. So without further ado, let's see my plate number one. of my plate number one. So to answer the question number one, namely, is there a contrast between the dominant and the subdominant forms? So it is clearly obvious or you can clearly spot the difference in the contrast in size, wherein the dominant form is bigger than the subordinate and the subdominant and also pre <laughs> and also the dominant volume is in the most prominent part of my plate number one. Contrast in shape is also obvious in my plate number one, wherein the subdominant is a form of a cube, and the dominant is formed as a rectangle, and my subordinate is formed of a subtracted rectangle or a square. Question number two. Are they complementary? To answer this question, it is yes. Because the form or design complements each other in a such way that they are combined to enhance or emphasize the qualities of each other or another. Question number three, are they similar in size? So to answer that question, it is no. They are not similar in size for the reason that I emphasize an isolating part to which the largest form is dominant. Question number four, is the dominant form in the most prominent position? So to answer the question, it is yes. Where you can obviously see that the dominant volume is placed uh, in the center part of my plate number one, wherein it is pierced through the subordinate volume uh, to give emphasize that it is the dominant volume and also enables it to be in the prominent position of my plate number one. Lastly, question number five. Does it look good in all sides? So to answer that question, uh, I made a couple of mistakes in doing my plate number one. 
where it is not that perfect but I can say that it looked good in all sides because I only use one color in my rectilinear volume that looks good in the eye and also the shapes are well complemented in all sides that make it look good in all sides. So once again, I am Ray Allen A. Aureo, an architectural student of Cebu Institute of Technology University and I hope that you learned or understand what I said. So stay home, stay healthy, don't forget to wear your mask and that's all and peace. give emphasize that it is the dominant volume and also uh, and also to and also and and also so to answer the <laughs>